what we've come to understand as filmmakers and artists at this really important inflection point, this current inflection point in the experiment that is the American democracy, is that art has value and potency and power and can move a conversation beyond dialogue into something even more meaningful, which is action. I thank Lionsgate for their support of us as filmmakers and championing a movie that uh, will probably prove to be really conversational and polarizing, but that's the point. Good art divides. We're not here to provide you with a soothing balm. We're here to hopefully catalyze something much bigger, which is our art and hope is a new world, a new country, a new thing that feels more equitable for all of us. Entertainment has its value, but in this moment, entertainment for entertainment's sake feels inappropriate. It feels tantamount to playing as a member of an orchestra on the deck of the Titanic. I think that we need to all wake up before we sleepwalk off a cliff. But Antebellum is a movie of the moment, we hope, and it's a movie that's thrillingly entertaining because first and foremost, we need to thrill and we need to entertain. Otherwise, it's a moot point, a moot issue. Um, so we thank all of you for being here this evening. I will tell you that Janelle Monet is a polymath, an extraordinary artist, but those are things that you already know. But the other thing that you might not know is that she's really grounded in the ancestry really grounded in the work. And for that reason, it was really easy for us to make the decision uh, to collaborate together. And so we're really thankful for that partnership. And so we'd like to introduce the star of our movie, Janelle Monet. We can feel the energy. Um, Christopher Gerard, thank you. Thank you for picking me. The reason, one of the reasons why I said yes to this film was because you told me about the nightmare, the dream that you had. And I know what that's like to speak in dreams. We've written songs, we've, I've, 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 I've woke up in the middle of my sleep to do a voice memo to write a song and it's become an album. So I know what that means for you when you told me I heard an ancestor screaming to escape. And I said, wow, this is, this is bigger than us. I believe in that. When I read the script, I just, I could not put it down. And I felt like that it was a script that was able to connect the dots of the past, the present, and what can be our future. This was a rare opportunity to highlight the work that black women have been putting in for centuries. Black women. Absolutely. Black women have been caping for a country that does not cape for it. This was an opportunity to highlight the work of our ancestors and also to honor the work of the black women today, like Maxine Waters, like Angela Davis, like Angela Rye, Brittany Packnett, Jovian Zane, Asada Shakur, Harriet Tubman. We are a spectrum. And my number one job was to tell the truth. There's erasure going on. There's whitewashing going on. The 1619 Project, they are trying not to put it in our schools. We have to keep this conversation going. So the truth is not always going to be pretty. It's going to piss you off first before it gets better. 
you're going to go through a metamorphosis. When a butterfly is becoming a butterfly, it's not easy. And it's going to take discomfort. There will be some discomfort watching this. But my job, our job, is to tell the truth. The past is not dead. The past is not even the past. What are you going to do about it, though? What are we going to do about it? So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to give thanks to Lionsgate, to my team Wonderland, to Nate, Rocket Wonder, and Roman John Arthur, who scored this film.